Danny, a 2-0 defeat, but in many ways a moral victory. Yeah, I think obviously the second goal is obviously one of them ones you're chasing the last sort of couple of minutes in the breakaway and score. I think getting up about four on one or two, do you know what I mean? So um, that was always you just waiting for that moment in the last few minutes to try and nick that point. Um, but we came with a game plan to try and frustrate them, try and get to 65, 70 minutes. and um, Almost succeeded. Almost succeeded with it. And um, again, we said... Look, we've got to respect them. We've got good players um, within the ranks and we've got to make sure that you don't kill yourself early by going and losing a couple of early goals by being too open. So we let them have the ball in the first half and like I say, um, we've had a couple of moments and, and that's what you're kind of waiting for. Them little moments just to fall for you. I've had one in the first half, obviously, Dad flagged offside. I'd be interested to see if it is off. It'd be very close, I think. Um, and then we have a couple in the second half where George puts one back across goal, it gets headed off the line and one just doesn't quite fall for Riggi. So, look, it, it's, I'm disappointed because I'm gutted for the lads because they've absolutely grafted today and they've given absolutely everything. And on another day, we probably could have nicked something, but credit to Macclesfield, they've took the two opportunities when they've come along. Uh, some good performances. Uh, Caden Casson, man yeah, of the match, I, do you think? I thought Cass was... Uh, to be honest with you, I, don't, I wasn't disappointed with anyone today. I thought they were all fantastic. Um, I thought Cass was excellent. I thought Riggi was put a great shift in there. Obviously, I moved him into centre midfield to do his return in there. Uh, with losing Bobby Carroll this week. Uh, unfortunately, Bobby's pulled his hamstring and that'll see him out for the rest of the season. Um, Tin has been suspended, so we're a little bit lightweight in there. But again, I thought everyone, Jake, Sam on the on, on the, on the wide areas and, and Scotty and Dav, um, look, it's not an, an easy task for Dav up there on his own when they've got a lot of possession, but I thought they put a lot of pressure on it in the back four again. Didn't let them have many chances, So and, and Jim as well made a couple of good saves as well at them points. But, Disappointing for the lads to uh, come yeah. away, last away day, um, not to get anything out of the game because they've really grafted today and on another day we probably could have nicked something. Uh, and then 10 minutes from the end, a rather special moment for uh, birthday boy Sam Christian. Yeah, look, he, Sam's trained with us a few times this season um, and I said to him in there, that he hasn't just been given that opportunity, Sam's earned that, he's trained with the first team and he's done really well and that's been something that obviously we've been proud of since in my time here is that giving these young lads the opportunity to come and train with the first team and if they do well with the first team they get the opportunity to play in the team and um, like I say today Sam's the, the next one that's been able to, to come into the squad and also get on the pitch as well I'm delighted for him uh, Injury situation uh, rears its head again we're about to uh Looking ahead till Tuesday, are we able to get a team out? Yeah, look, uh, it's not ideal. Obviously, we've lost Bobby um, on Thursday night. Here. He's had to come off with a knock to his ankle. Uh, hopefully, he'll settle down quickly. We'll be, obviously, we'll be able to welcome Tinners back. Kit Nelson's obviously been ruled out for the rest of the season. Brad Hubble's the same. Um, so, we are down to sort of the, the bare bones, as we say. But, look, we've got uh, the last two games, and we're going to go and try and have a right go, try and win the Cumberland Cup, and obviously finish on a high in front of our fans next Saturday. I uh, noticed you had a word with uh, Robbie Savage afterwards. Was it uh, complimentary or...? Yeah, I think obviously um, Robbie was just asking what my plans were for, for seeing me leaving and things like that, what my reasons were. And like I said, it, it's nice. it was nice to have a conversation with him and, and sort of um, wish him all the best for the future because the last two seasons we've kind of gone toe-to-toe -to -toe and um, obviously this year it's been slightly different, but... I think obviously the first game up, up at ours, it was a close game. This one here has been a close game and he was complimentary to the lads and um, to the football club. And like I say, fingers crossed for them, they go and get promoted. And look at the resources they've got, there's no hiding it. They're, they're well resourced here with the pitch and the facilities behind the scenes and uh, the backing that they have. And that's why they're able to assemble a team there that should be challenging for promotion. So um, look, he was complimentary towards the football club and the players and, and myself as well, which is obviously nice to hear on, the, on that side. Danny, two games to finish the season with, but uh, this afternoon, so near, yet so far, but a superb effort. Yeah, great effort, and like you say, uh, lastly, obviously, I want to say thanks to the travelling fans, not only for today, but over my period with the football club, they've travelled in the numbers, got behind the lads, and um, it has been much much appreciated by myself and the club and, um, and the players, uh, so obviously, I want to say a big thank you to them, because obviously, this is our last game on the road, and uh, wish them nothing but the best for the future. Well done. Thanks, Danny. Cheers, Keith.